This framework presents three different finite state machine software models. The first segment of this video illustrates the FSM, that is the finite state machine, which is written in Verilog VHDL with four different states, that is state A, B, C, and D. The second part shows a finite state machine written in Python. Object protocol programming. And finally, the third segment of this presentation implements the finite state machine, the FSM, software model written in C language. So in this application, the finite state machine has four states, A, B, C, and D. The system has one input signal called P, and the value of P determines what state the system moves to the next. So the system changes state from A to B to C and to D as long as the input P is high or binary one. If P is low and the system is in the state A, B or C, the state is not changed. If the system on the other hand is in the state D, it changes to B if P is high and to A if P is low. The system also has an output called R which is binary 1 if in the state D otherwise it is a 0. Therefore, in this block diagrams, the circles represent states. The arrows represent the circles, the rules for changing from one state to another state. For example, the system, the state machine moves from A to state B if the input P is equal to 1. Otherwise, it remains in the state A. The information below the line in the circle represents the output value when in each state. And the arrow coming from nowhere in the A indicates that A is the initial state. So here I show the representation of the VHDL model for the finite state machine, the FSM. The VHDL entity describes the external interface of the system, which includes the inputs, the outputs, and the name of the entity. The name of the entity is the simple FSM, finite state machine, and the inputs are a clock signal, also the reset signal, and also the P signal, and the output is the R signal. As I have illustrated, in the code of the FSM. The clock system in this implementation is the periodic high-low signal that controls timing to the synchronous system. Any synchronous system has one controlling clock signal that synchronizes all the blocks 
in the system, making them the change at the same time. Here is an interesting observation about the entity is that all the inputs and all outputs are single beats and so can use the data type standard underscore logic which is the standard type in VHDL for single bit signals. Looking at the code the next step is to define the functionality of the entity. This block of VHDL is called the architecture, the functionality that we or, or I have implemented is that of the state machine defined as illustrated in this video for the entire code of the state machine. Okay, now let's analyze the details of the architecture code uh, presented in this project. So the architecture definition states that is the architecture RTL of the F FSM finite state machine. The statement is a standard for VHDL architecture and is basically states the level of abstraction that will be described in the architecture. RTL, which stands for Register Transfer Level. So the behavioral is the highest level of abstraction. And when writing behavioral code, you simply need to define the relationship between inputs and outputs. The structural code also represented is the lower level of abstraction. When writing structural code, I describe how the law level structures, for example, logic gates, connect together to give the system that, that I need. The next block defines, states, and creates a signal that will have a defined state as its value. And it is implemented as follows. Type, state underscore type is parentheses A, B, C, and D, close parentheses, the four different states. The signal state, that is state under, underscore type, creates a signal that uses four different states. As you can see, this forms part of the main code. The next statement is the start of a VHDL process with the signals clock and reset in its sensitivity list. It is implemented as process open parenthesis clock comma reset close parenthesis begin so if reset is 1, then upon request, set the state to A. So A is placed in the state. Else if rising underscore edge clock, then. So there are many details about the process declarations. In this code, only the state signal has an assignment. So a register made up of enough flip-flops to represent the value of state will be created. The register will be synchronized to the rising edge of the clock and will be asynchronously resettable by the reset signal. The body of the code following the rising underscore edge clock statement is a VHDL case statement that will be synchronized into the logic for controlling what value state changes to one to on each rising edge 
of the clock. As an example, when A is equal or greater than, if P is equal to 1, then state is less and equal B. And if. This is a statement within the code. This equates that, in, that if state has the value of A, then if the signal P is 1, change state to B on the rising clock edge. Therefore, the last statement in the case is when others is equal greater than state less than equal a. This statement is a catch-all statement to make sure that if state somehow had a value not equal to a, b, c, or d, then it will reset to a value of a. The final section of the code is done outside of the process and creates a block of combinational logic, such as R less than equal to 1 when state is equal, D else 0. This equates that the statement is the one A determining the value of the output R. R will be a 1 if the state is D, and it will be a 0 in all other states. So, it's important to note that the output of the state machine is dependent only on the state. The state machines where the present state is the only value and the only thing determining the output. This segment shows several projects that I created. These engineering prototypes implement many of the software models which I have illustrated in these different videos. That is the FSM, the finite state machine, software algorithms, and the FES Fourier Transform FFT software models. These are the engineering prototypes which I have um, designed and developed at my laboratories and at my design centers. The blood oxygen pulse oximeter, the Bluetooth infrared non-contact thermometer, a digital blood pressure medical system, plus many other systems including a smart intelligent ventilator and many other medical applications, military applications as well as industrial applications.